Welcome to the Motormouth YouTube channel. I'm Zach. I'm Andrea. And boy, have we got a story to tell you. Imagine this, a 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5 that costs $55,000 brand new, getting a quote for over $60,000 Canadian to replace the battery more than the car is brand new. This is a rear wheel drive long range model. And we had the opportunity to speak to the owner, Kyle Sue, who is dealing with these issues coming up in this video we have documentation of the quote from the dealership we also have pictures from kyle from the body shop and we have a statement from hyundai canada about all this so i just want to set the table first of all we're in canada this car is in vancouver british columbia we're talking about canadian dollars yeah. they're big numbers nonetheless so you can extrapolate into us dollars it's still going to be quite expensive and when you hear the term icbc that's the insurer the insurance corporation of british columbia so when you hear ICBC, that's the insurance company. Yeah, so let's get into the story. Kyle's going to come on a little bit later to talk as well. But it all started on a road trip. And he was heading to the interior of British Columbia. He saw something on the road. He tried to avoid it. He felt like he did avoid it. And he went on his way. When he got back, he decided to get the vehicle checked out. When the dealership called him to give him an update on the vehicle, they said that they see damage to the battery protection cover. You can see scratches on the cover, but they also said that the round part where we have an arrow showing it has widened. And the dealership says that that means the battery was impacted and that means his warranty is void. Okay, here's where it gets kind of interesting. So. This cover is meant to protect the battery from, you know, running over something and having an impact. And what we found out is that the cover, even if the cover is damaged, they're saying the battery needs to be replaced. The dealership never took the cover off. No. And to have a look at the actual battery itself to see if it was damaged at all. They just say because the space between the hole and the battery above is wider than it should be, that's enough for them to say it needs to be replaced. And that the battery has been impacted, which I didn't realize is that a battery warranty could be void. That was a real surprise to me. So Kyle decided that obviously this is not something that he could afford to fix himself so he went through his insurance and the vehicle was sent to the body shop so when he got a call from the insurer who told him that hyundai has quoted battery replacement of sixty thousand dollars canadian the insurer said your vehicle is not worth that much anymore we are going to have to write it off unfortunately for kyle that means losing his clean driving record icbc told him that his insurance may increase by 50% because of that. But what was Kyle going to do? He can't afford to pay $60,000 on a brand new Ionic 5. Okay, so here's the invoice. This is for the body shop and the body shop working with the insurer gets the price for the battery replacement part, which is $56,000. So the part has a part number and that's the price. Then you add in tax and labor. The labor actually isn't that much. Mm -hmm. uh, it brings the total to over $60,000 for a car that's one year old. What I kind of find interesting is to me as a layperson looking, no, I'm not a mechanic, looking at the bottom of this, mm -hmm. uh, the scratch doesn't look that bad. And if the battery physically wasn't impacted, I don't understand. So what should have happened here is the dealership should have contacted head office and they didn't do that. So the decision was made by the insurer and the dealership to write the vehicle off. The body shop also told Kyle that there are very few scratches on the battery protection cover and that they could understand why he feels like he never hit anything. Yeah, so what should have happened in this situation, and we've since found out uh, they've made some changes from head office in Canada down to the dealers, uh, this sort of thing should go right to head office to get their experts. And they told us after the fact, they're trying to get Korea involved um, to find out what's wrong with the battery, but that horse has already left the barn. Kyle also mentioned that he had a lot of trust in the dealership and didn't feel that he should go to Hyundai Canada go to head office. The dealership said because his warranty was void that they were going to file a report with Hyundai Canada anyway. So Kyle kind of felt like this 
was his last resort, was okay. taking care of it through insurance. Okay, so put yourself in a situation. You have a car where the replacement cost of the battery is more than buying a brand new car. So you're obviously not going to pay for the car twice. No. Or you can go to your insurer and have it written off and get a big chunk of that money back, which is what he decided to do. It does impact his insurance long term. So we found out about this because uh, he's a local guy who contacted us. Yeah. And we got in touch with Hyundai Canada directly and we have a statement from them and this is what they had to say. We heard from the national PR manager for Hyundai Canada, Jennifer McCarthy, and this is what she had to say about the $60,000 Canadian battery replacement quote. This is a very rare situation and each is unique. In this case, Hyundai Canada's customer experience team should have had the opportunity to assess the situation prior to costing being shared. The cost of battery replacement depends on the nature of the damage, repairs required, the type of battery, as well as the generation of the vehicle. And therefore, there is no one set price for every replacement. However, battery cost is a challenge for our business, which requires Hyundai Canada to continue evaluating its battery replacement and costing processes. We're working towards implementing a pricing strategy for batteries that is reasonable, fair, and in line with market competitiveness. But what I find interesting is we actually do know the cost of the battery. The battery has a part number and the yeah. part says it's $56,000 plus tax and labor. It's only over 60 grand to put it in the car. So they, there's a big problem here, not just with Hyundai, but the entire industry when it comes yeah. to battery replacements is what is a fair price for a battery on a car that's maybe five years old? Uh, does that mean that every EV that's damaged or has to have a battery replaced is worthless? Well, that's the concern. I was focusing on battery degradation. I never for once thought that a one year old vehicle would need battery replacement. People buy EVs for a variety of reasons, obviously to save money on fuel, but also for the environment to lower their emissions as well as their carbon footprint. Writing off a perfectly good brand new Ionic 5. Here's the picture of it. That was the day that Kyle said goodbye to his vehicle. Just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, well, that's that's one of the things. You've got to unbox all this as we go forward. Okay, so what I think we should do is bring in Kyle now. Yeah. And to get a quote from Kyle, the first question we asked them is, what did the dealership say to you and how did you know the battery needed to be replaced? When I was at the dealership, at the, their uh, service department, they, I asked several questions, uh, like whether my battery is damaged, really damaged. They can always tell me that uh, because of the difficulties, uh, they couldn't discover, uh, even if they opened the, remove the battery protection pack, they couldn't uh, make sure it's really damaged. According to them, it's impacted. They only remind me of my uh, liabilities. So I have to replace the battery. Otherwise, it's going. they said it's going to explode anytime. That's how they told me. They reported to Hyundai Canada. So uh, they would know that this car is out of warranty specifically for the battery. So I will be liable if it's causing fires or uh, explosion. Mm -hmm. So that's why I followed their advice to make the uh, uh, insurance claim and then uh, follow their advice on replacing the whole battery. So I think one of the issues here is people, when they're dealing with the dealership, if it says Hyundai or Ford or Toyota on the front of the dealership, yeah. they think they're dealing with the company. They're not, they're dealing with the dealership, but they're not aware of that. So as you heard from the statement from Hyundai Canada, they wanna be involved in all of these going forward, but that's not the case right now. Well, they've changed their processes now. They've realized after a few stories in the news there was another recent one on an older ionic model with a fifty thousand dollar battery quote now i want to say that i read that article and the owner did go to hyundai canada he was redirected back to the dealership and frankly just gave up now Hyundai Canada has come back to him and they're trying to work out uh, something for him to make him a little bit happier. But I think the key is, is that we shouldn't have to fight for everything. We are Kyle's advocate today and we're bringing this story to you so that you understand some of the things that you need to do. This is not so clean and cut and dry. Yeah. So don't just take what the dealer says no. as the gospel. You need to push 
and open a file, call the head office, open a file and get them involved in the process and then hopefully you can get some answers. And today this may be a Hyundai problem, but this is going to be a bigger problem for all brands. And I really think that all brands should start changing their process now. This is what Hyundai said about their new process in place. Warranty related repairs for the majority of our EVs on the road would be covered by Hyundai Canada. For older EV models, part of our new processes focuses on ensuring dealerships escalate all hybrid and EV related battery claims, allowing us to investigate properly and therefore assist customers the best we can. This includes corresponding directly with insurance companies as needed. So since we got involved, we were in contact with Hyundai Canada head office. They then got in touch with Kyle. So we asked Kyle, what did they do for you? What are they planning to do for you? And how will this affect your insurance? So they actually asked me if uh, I'm interested in uh, buying a new Hyundai Frandan uh, with some discount. That's their uh, first uh, uh, when they talk to me. And then because I'm out of a car right now, so that's what they uh, asked me if I'm interested in. And I do tell them uh, at this moment, you know, uh, I'm not sure if I can justify myself to buy another uh, Hyundai vehicle, right? And I do tell them uh, because of this, if my car could have been saved without going to the insurance, I will need to face the uh, huge increase in my insurance. It's going to double for over the, the 10 years in future. So from now and in 10 years, my insurance every year, it's paying double from my original amount. I, I, I did tell them like I was considered no longer a good driver because uh, they removed all my discount rates from the insurance uh, factors. And, and that's going to stick with me for 10 years. That's a nightmare. Like every year you renew your insurance, you will be terrified by the amount of the insurance increased. So people who aren't EV owners right now might be thinking, Ooh, yikes, about this story. We asked Kyle, what sort of advice does he have for potential EV buyers? First, figure out how much uh, is your battery replacement cost when you are uh, thinking of buying one at the dealership. And then uh, research uh, the situations that will void your warranty for the battery, uh, that's uh, the most important things. But road hazards, it does happen if the scratches on the protection pack could void your warranty. You have to be very, very careful in the following eight years. Uh, even if you are, like, if you want to make sure your war uh, warranty for the battery is still good, and it's not just about warranty. It's when they told you that you are out of warranty and your battery is impacted, that means you might be liable for uh, potential hazards caused by your car. And uh, you don't know when your car is going to uh, stop working, your EV cars. So uh, that makes me you know, need to think twice before I make the decisions to buy an EV car again. Are you prepared to replace the battery at this cost because no one can imagine predict how much would that cost after eight years they would might told you they might have told you that the battery replacement cost will continues to decrease and at that time you will have a cheaper battery to replace but at this right now you would know that it's $60,000 so the real burning question we have to Kyle is would he buy another EV for me, like I like the idea of an EV, but even till now, I'm still debating whether I should have another EV. Uh, for sure, I when when I first came to Hyundai Ionic Five, I was uh, attracted by the idea to own an EV and then uh, and then see if it would work. You know, like it probably save you from fuel costs, and uh, and then it's a, a new like a. T uh, trendy car, you know, but right now I'm still debating. I, I, I cannot justify my reasons anymore if I know the car has no used car values after eight years because the battery would probably take up all the, uh, the values of your car. Then whether I should just own a luxury car right now, like uh, 
as I mentioned before, like if I need to prepare another sixty thousand dollars, I could probably have wide range of car selections at this moment, uh, not just an EV anymore, or the money that I could save from fuel from gas probably won't be able to cover my another battery replacement. So had Hyundai Canada been involved and they tried to get access to the car, but the car was already transferred to the insurance company's name and is going to be salvaged. Yeah. They tried to get Hyundai in Korea involved so that maybe they could find out more about the battery and if it did actually need to be replaced. Mm -hmm. What I find surprising is there's a protection cover to protect the battery underneath the car. Mm -hmm. Why wasn't that taken off and have a good long hard inspection of the actual battery to see what's up? Well, I mean, doesn't that sound logical? We asked the question, we put it to Hyundai Canada. Unfortunately, we didn't get an answer except that Hyundai Canada is taking charge now of these sort of battery issues. It will no longer be dealt with at the dealership level. Um, I think that that is good. I think that this process needs to be in place. We cannot be writing off brand new vehicles and a battery costing more than what the original price of the vehicle is. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So. Take what Kyle said, if you are interested in buying an EV, do your due diligence, understand the warranty from each brand. This is a bigger issue. I don't believe that it is just one brand today, like I said, is Hyundai, but we could see it later on as more EVs hit the market from other brands. I just wanna thank Kyle for coming forward. I think that we can learn a lot from this story. Zach and I learned a lot. I think dealerships can, as well as manufacturers, and of course, viewers. So we tried to be fair with this, not really take any sides. We're just asking common sense questions. Mm -hmm. And we still have more questions. And we're going to do a follow up with Kyle to see where he lands, if he's going to get another Hyundai, uh, if any sort of compensation for his insurance, anything like that. We're going, to, we're going to follow up with another video. And Hyundai said that they're also going to keep us in the loop with any new processes that come up and how they are communicating with their dealer network. All right. Thanks for watching.